Hey guys, I'm here to show you some cool quality of life improvements that I have made to the um, to this website that lets you play Advanced Wars online. I've made five quality of life improvements. The first one fixes the game board display. Um, you may have noticed when you're playing that these sprites are hideously blurry. In addition, the website is bugged, preventing you from zooming into 3.0. I've made a user script that fixes both of these, giving you nice, crisp sprites and allowing you to zoom all the way back out to 3.0. Now, because this is a user script, you will first need to install Tamper Monkey if you're on Chrome, or Grease Monkey if you're on Firefox. Once you've installed it, you'll just need to go back to this page and um, click whichever module you want to install. I'm going to showcase them all, starting with the most important one, the pixel art. Now, as you can see, these sprites are blurry, and we cannot zoom into three. But now that we've installed that pixel art module, if you zoom in to three or 2.0, the sprites are now pixelated crisp and actually look like pixel art should. This is the most serious improvement. Um, all the other improvements are very small compared to this one, so I'd recommend just stopping the video now if that's all you were here for. The next tweak I've made is you may have noticed that the Advanced Wars by Web website just clogs up your browser history with these inscrutable entries. You know, you, you can't hardly find your way around at all. My second module, the page title module, fixes this and actually lets you... Um, have some more meaningful browser history and tab entries. So as you'll notice, all these say Advanced Wars by Web, Advanced Wars by Web, Advanced Wars by Web at the top. You just, you can't, you cannot tell them apart. What this module does is it lets you actually tell them apart and it cleans up your browser history. So I'll scroll forward to when I installed it. You can now see, you know, if, if you want to go to a particular league game from your browser history, now you can just find it. Um, and it sets all these tab titles as well to, to actually be meaningful. So that's my second fix is page title. It updates the page title so your browser history isn't a mess and so you can tell the tabs apart. <laughs> uh, this third one is pretty zany. What it All it does is it automatically downloads a copy of every game that you have. So um, as you can see I've got kind of a, a game history here and they recently changed the website so the games get deleted after like a week or something ridiculous like that. What this third module does, as soon as the website loads, is it will automatically just squirrel away to safety a copy of any game that you've played whenever you visit your games page. It'll take a second for it to download it, but once it's downloaded copies of all the games you've played, you're going to see a menu right here, Archived Games. Now, even in a month, in a year, in two years, whatever, all these archived games are still going to be here because they're actually saved in the browser. Um, you can click on them to save them yourself, if you wish, um, to your computer, to your Dropbox, to whatever. So anyway, that's the third module, the Game Saver. It automatically stores copies of all your played games. So these are not going to expire in a week like all the actual games do. Um, the fourth module I've made is the Cap Limit Info module. And this one's very convenient, and I'm kind of proud of this one. Um, normally, when you're creating a game, and you're giving the game a capture limit, you know, you've got to do mental math. You've got to say, okay, you know, 28 plus 8 plus 2, and then you don't add the 4, and, it, and it's all this nuisance that you've got to deal with. What the Cap Limit module does, and I'll simply refresh the page to activate it, it changes this inscrutable menu into one that actually just shows you the percentages. So you can know exactly what you're creating and you can know not to you know, accidentally create anything that's got less than 50% if you wish. Um, it also works very well for maps that have four players because it will actually show you a relative um, capture ratio. So, you know, if you've got a 16-player map, it can be, you know, somewhat hard to tell at a glance, okay, you know, is that exactly 1 16th or whatever. 
But what this will let you do is it'll show you, okay, you know, if you want to make sure everyone gets an even share, you just pick 1.0 on these multiplayer maps. Um, or if you want to not let anyone win until they've got two people's worth, you can do that as well. And so anyway, this, this just, whenever you're creating a match, it, if you want to include a capture limit, this um, add-on can make your life just a little bit easier. That's the cap limit info. Then the last, the fifth module that I'd like to show you is the Jade Sun Accessibility Fix. I actually wouldn't like you to show it. I'd like somebody who is actually color impaired to take a look at it and tell me if it works, because I don't know if it works. I actually need someone uh, who's color impaired and has trouble identifying the Jade Sun groups um, to try this out and let me know how it works. Anyway, I hope this makes some people's days more enjoyable, and I'll maybe see you around. Uh, my username on the website is Squeegily, S-Q-U-E-E-G-I-L-Y. I'll put the link to the profile as well in the description. Anyway, see you all around.